You know, this is near and dear to my heart because it's probably one of the key conversations I have with a lot of our prospect dealers. Um, one of the first things we do is kind of dive into their existing reinsurance program and I ask them what their fee structures are. And it's uh, overwhelmingly many don't know the current fees that they pay their F&I provider. But there's an admin fee. Uh, there's typically a seeding fee, uh, which gets paid every time money goes into the reinsurance account. There is a claims handling fee that gets paid every time a claim is called into the call center and a claim is paid out. And then there's typically premium taxes, which vary from F&I to F&I provider, depending on where they're domiciled. Um, there is no good fees or bad fees. I, I think the most important thing that I talk to a lot of our prospects with as it relates to fees is you just want to make sure that whatever the set of fees you're paying, that you're getting uh, what you should be getting from that. If you need a... Uh, basic claims administration. You're not looking for people in your store. You're not looking for training and support. You're not looking for, you know, as Casey talked about earlier, maybe that uh, partner relationship, but more of just a very basic paper vendor relationship. That fee should be lower than if you're looking for a full service, all encompassing uh, training relationship and uh, F&I provider that provides that. Um, so again, there is no good fees or bad fees. It's just some may be higher than others. And you want to make sure that you're getting the value for the fees that you're paying. 